Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a topographic profile from a topographic map. In front of me here, I have a topographic map of the Halifax area. As you can see, this map has contour lines and these lines have a contour interval of 20 meters. We can also see this red line on the map going from Little Soldier Lake in the northwest toward East Lake more in the southeast direction. And we can easily show the change in relief between these two points by constructing a topographic profile. So to do this, I need a few things. I need a pencil, I need a ruler, and I need two pieces of blank paper. Now, the first step in constructing a topographic profile is to measure the physical distance on the map along our line of interest. So A at Little Soldier Lake to A prime at East Lake is exactly 111 millimeters on our map. I then draw a horizontal line on one of my pieces of paper exactly 111 millimeters long. Now the next thing I need to decide is the amount of vertical exaggeration this profile is going to show. Recall that the contour interval was 20 meters and we can see in the area um, the maximum elevation is about 120 meters, so that's six intervals. Now I think that at this scale, one centimeter for every contour interval would be appropriate. So I'll draw two vertical lines. And then I'll mark off one centimeter for each contour interval. And now I'll very neatly draw a faint pencil line across the profile to represent each interval. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take my second piece of paper and place it along our line of interest. And I'm going to mark off each location where a contour interval crosses the red line, recording the values below each tick. So I'll start with A and A prime, just to line up the edges. Then this one at 40, then 60, then 60 again. Once I've got all my ticks and numbers recorded, I'm going to go back to my other piece of paper and I'm going to line up A and A prime with the extent of my profile. Then I just start plotting these numbers on the corresponding lines as dots. So we have 100, 100, 100. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 40, 40, 40, 40. And what we're going to do is connect the dots, but we can't connect them with a straight line. You can see this whole area is around 100 meters in elevation. So the landscape here likely extends above 100 meters and then back down to 100 meters, but it doesn't reach the 120 meter elevation point, okay, or else it would have crossed this line up here as well. So we need to use some interpretation and artistic license when constructing our profile. Same here where it crosses the 40 meter contour and then the 40 meter contour again. At each of these locations, the elevation is exactly 40 meters, but it isn't 40 at any of these locations in between. So you need to follow the trends to determine if the elevation is getting higher or lower when you're drawing lines on the profile. Once I get all the lines connected, the topographic profile is done. And as you can see, it's clear that the elevation increases as you move along the line of interest from the southeast to the northwest. We also have these two valleys here, which might be river valleys. And sure enough, when we look at the map, we can see that two rivers intersect our line of interest. Now, the only thing left to do would be to maybe recreate this on a computer to make it look a little more professional, but in the end, it's going to look fairly similar to what you see here. Hopefully, this video has clarified how to make a topographic profile 
and emphasized why it can be a useful tool when included with topographic maps.